All right, folks, welcome back. We're looking now at our storm tracker from this morning. It was out at the MSU campus. Go Bears, right? A good looking morning out there. You can see a little bit of blue, kind of a grayish blue sky above as some high clouds moved in this morning, and they are here to stay for today. All right, jumping back to Max 1. We can see from our tower camera, we can see those clouds have moved on in. Still filtered sunlight out there. Okay, it's not a cloudy day by any means, but it is a milky colored sky high above for sure as we go into the midday hours. That'll be the case through the daytime for today. Temperature wise though, we're doing okay. Okay, there's still enough sunlight making it through those clouds. It's just a thin veil of cloud cover. We're getting quite warm. 65 degrees in Springfield, 64 in Branson, low to mid 60s now across most of the area. I think we'll see a lot of 70s out here for later today, maybe upper 60s later on today down to the south and east. Right now though, satellite and radar here. The clouds moved in this morning and there's plenty more where it came from and it's going to stay like that through the daytime today. Those clouds are in association. They're ahead of our storm system currently making its way about right here about. So it was in California this morning. Now it's moving into the Las Vegas area and it'll continue to zip on through in about 12 hours, maybe about 14 hours. We'll start to see some storms around here as a result of that system. Not a lot. OK, but here's what we're talking about. I think the model data is pretty well on track as of right now. OK, I think we'll see maybe just one, maybe two storms in the west and that'd be about it if anything gets out of control at all. OK, the big thing is it's not going to be crazy out of control severe. This is going to be a good test run for us as we go into late February. OK, but one storm, maybe two storms developing in the west overnight tonight after midnight moving to the east. There's going to be a low risk for some hail, a little bit of wind, a little bit of lightning. OK, so you may be woken up at three o'clock in the morning from a loud crack of thunder. And that would be just about it from this. And again, not widespread, very isolated. Again, maybe just one or two storms from tonight. As we go into the sunrise hour for tomorrow, we'll see some scattered rain showers across the south. As a cold front begins to make its way across the area by midday, we could see some more, more development across the southeast along that front as it comes through for the midday. But generally, it'll just be a, some spotty stuff as we go into the afternoon in the southeast. By tomorrow night, the skies clear out. We're still OK weather wise temperatures. OK Friday. We're sunny and temperatures around 60 degrees for Friday. OK, we are keeping an eye on next week. OK, the Canadian air. It's cold. It's still cold in Canada. As long as there's cold air in Canada, there is that chance that we're going to see the cool down make its way here. But between now and about next Tuesday, we'll see warm weather, mostly sunny skies and again, 60s and 70s on the way. And then sometime around next Tuesday, Wednesday, middle of next week, the cold air does look like it will come down a little bit. This will get us back down to normal. OK, not bitter cold air, but just colder than where we are now. OK, maybe 40s, maybe 50s for the middle of next week. For today, nowhere close to that. Low 70s outside. Again, the rain chance overnight tonight. It's pretty scattered to isolated chances of rain showers and a few thunderstorms, some of which might become strong to severe. OK, pretty limited exposure on the severe weather risk, though. Don't expect a whole lot from that. Low 60s for tomorrow. Rain moves eastward and Friday looks good. 60 with plenty of sunshine above. This will be the warmest weekend we've seen since the end of last year in November. 63 Saturday, 70s on Sunday and more mice weather going into the start of next week. Sure is great looking temperatures in the 70s there, Tom. Thanks.